all right guys so i stumbled across this video of this um asian lady on a train in new york city tearing down ok cupid advertisements now ok cupid is a uh dating app right and a woke dating app that uses a lot of provocative advertisement uh in order to i guess get users on the app right they are super duper duper woke and she was not cool with them advertising on a subway where kids could see their overtly sexual and political ads so she decided to take it upon herself and to tear those ads down while also giving a message about how this is propaganda right and this is china like stuff right it is divide and conquer take a look No, it's not. It's wrong. This is propaganda. Yeah. This is normalizing. Normalizing. Yeah. The next generation. Yeah. This I don't is. Yeah. This 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 is.
this right here, I'm, I'm not sure why this is being allowed on the subway system, right? Just again, reading the rules, okay? Unless, who knows, maybe uh, the New York City, uh, the government, maybe they're cool with this type of stuff. They're cool with this type of messaging, right? I can't imagine who in their right mind would review advertising like this and say that, oh, yeah, th this is appropriate to put on the subway where you have kids, right? Kids on the subway looking at this type of stuff, right? Indulging in this type of stuff, right? I mean, we, we have public decency laws for a reason, guys. Listen, I'm pro-free speech. That's why I said, listen, it's wrong that she tore down uh, those posters, right? I think there's a better way to handle that, and I'll get into that in a minute, but at the same time, you know, I, I, I do agree with her in, in regards to it being propaganda, right? And the government essentially okay this propaganda. It might not necessarily be directly from the government. It is woke corporate propaganda, but the government okayed it and said, oh no, it's okay for you to uh, overtly uh, advertise in a sexual way and be political on a subway system, right? I think that's what really bothers me more than anything. But with that being said, you know, I, I, I think that this woman, she should have took her protests and her issues directly to the government, right? Um, and, and the reason why is because, you know, I don't want to see people like her whom, you know, did something that, you know, uh, a lot of people are saying is brave. But again, at the same time, I mean, it, it is vandalism. I don't want to see people like her get in trouble, okay? Um, she should take that energy and, and go to the government and say, hey, listen, um, I'm not sure if this is something we should be allowing, okay? If she has... This type of uh, these type of grievances, and I'm sure a ton of people agree with her, right? They'll be more than willing to go and to, um, you know, speak out about this advertising in New York City. But I mean, I don't know. I mean, it is New York. It is you know a liberal you know place. I I don't know. <laughs> you know, I could be wrong about that. They could be cool with this type of stuff. I don't know because I I, I do kind of agree with her in the sentiment that, yeah, I mean, you shouldn't be having this type of overtly sexual advertising in a public space. OK, there are things that we deem acceptable uh, in the public sphere. Like, you, for example, you can't flash people. Right. There's only so far that you can go with this type of stuff. Right. And that has to be kind of a, you know, a cutoff. Right. Where you say, OK, this is not OK. Like, we can't just have this in public. And that's something that we've always had. But who knows? I don't know. Maybe the people in New York, maybe this is what they want. Right. It is a, a, a liberal uh, city. Right. And maybe they're cool with this. May a majority of Americans might not be cool with it. But maybe these people in these cities might be okay with it. I, I, mean, I don't understand how a parent could be, but I, again, I don't know, right? I have no clue, you know? Um, but I know that in a place like North Carolina, for example, um, I've seen billboards for uh, adult stores that are not advertising overtly like this, right? They're not as straightforward about, you know, the sexual aspect of the business as OkCupid. And OkCupid is a dating app, right? I mean, we're talking about advertising for sex stores not being that overt, right? And this is what OkCupid is doing. Kind of blows my mind that this is the direction the company is going in. But at the same time, like I said, it is their free speech, right? It is, you know, their right to put out ads like this. Now, you know, certain platforms allow ads like this. Certain platforms don't. Uh, apparently, the, the New York uh, train system, it allows this, right? They, they, they don't allow other stuff, but they apparently allow this. Who knows? Maybe this is close to the line. I have no clue whatsoever. But ultimately, today, it is up to the people in New York City to speak out about it. And also, it's up to the customers of OkCupid, if they're you know not okay with this, to speak out to the company about the fact that they're overtly advertising in a way that is sexual and political and might not be appropriate for kids. Again, for this to be allowed on a train, okay, a train where you know you got children riding the train, right? You got people on the train, you know, looking at stuff. Again, it, it kind of blows my mind that people aren't pushing back because this would never happen in the South. Never. This would never be allowed in the South. But again, I, I, I do agree with her in the sense that, yes, this is, um, you know, subconscious in regards to how, you know, woke corporate America is trying to indoctrinate people in a certain type of political rhetoric. Right. I mean, this is overtly like political left wing, you know, pushing a certain type of lifestyle on people. And it's one of those things where you don't think it's a big deal when you first see it, but when you see it over and over and over again, like imagine riding the subway every single day, then it's something that becomes ingrained in your mind and you don't even realize it because you're watching every single day. Now imagine that effect on kids, right? The psychological effect of them seeing that type of advertisement, right? I, I, for, from the life of me, I, I don't understand why OkCupid would even 
okay something like this in a public space? As a company, why would you not think about, okay, do we want this advertising to be shown to kids? You know, can we tone it down a little bit if we're going to put this in a public space? Right? Have some decency, man. I understand y'all want to make money. I understand y'all want people to get on your app. But, you know, there's only so far that you should go with certain things. You know, I, I get the whole shock factor in advertising. I Listen, I get it. Right? I get marketing. I understand it. But, you know, this right here, in my opinion, ain't it. Right? This ain't it. And I always find it interesting when you have, you know, um, people of Asian descent um, who speak out about this stuff and, and compare it to what's going on in China because, you know, China, for the most part, I mean, they, they kind of have some control over their corporations, right? So, you know, they're not putting out stuff that's not approved by the government, right? So, I mean, they probably use uh, their corporations to indoctrinate people as well into, you know, a certain lifestyle and certain behaviors that they want, right? And, I, you know, in my opinion, seeing how corporate America, what corporate America is so uh, tied to the Democrat Party, right, in, in the left-wing movement, I, I kind of see it as the same thing, right? Kind of similar to a sense. Now, you know, is the corporate is corporation America probably more independent? Are they probably just thinking about making money? Yeah, they're definitely thinking about making the money. But there is, to me, a, an alliance, right? A, a, a agenda to push a certain type of narrative uh, on people in the name of uh, inclusivity. Again, I you know, I'm not against people living whatever lifestyle they want to live. That's that's fine. But I don't feel like you need to push that in front of people as a way to normalize it um in a public setting okay we've always had things that are more taboo in a more private setting for a reason right and it's okay to keep it in a private setting that that's fine okay everything does not need to be normalized just for the sake of it being normalized and i think that's something that the left doesn't necessarily understand let me know what you guys think uh make sure you like comment and subscribe most importantly share a black conservative perspective peace